Hello and welcome. You're watching it today in Parliament with me, Ashpara Kapoor. And these are the Parliament headlines. Rajya Sabha to continue debate on union budget, calling attention motion on malnutrition among women and children, also listed in today's business. Lok Sabha to take up discussion and voting on demands for grants under the control of Ministry of Railways for 2019-20. Also in the Lok Sabha, the Central Universities Amendment Bill 2019 listed in today's business for consideration and passing. The Lok Sabha will take up discussion and voting on the demands for grants under the control of uh, Ministry of Railways for 2019-20. Demand for grant is an annual expenditure plan of each ministry for the financial year. It includes provisions uh, with respect to revenue expenditure, capital expenditure, grants uh, to states uh, governments uh, as well as loans and advances. On Wednesday, in her reply to the debate over the Union Budget 2019, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman uh, she termed the budget uh, a vision for the next 10 years. Uh, Sita Raman underlined that the budget will strengthen agriculture, social sector, health sector, education and banking sector as well. If all these are reforms for agriculture, we have not forgotten the welfare measures, the measures that we need to take for the sake of the farmers. We have rolled out the PM Kisan under which 6,000 rupees annually is transferred to every farmer, irrespective of the size of holding. This historic step, this historic step costing 87,000 crores in and in the other legislative business, so the Central Universities Amendment Bill 2019 to amend the Central Universities Act 2009 will be moved for consideration and passage. It aims to set up a central university and a tribal university in Andhra Pradesh in order to increase access and the quality of higher education and also promote uh, avenues of higher education for the people of the state. The bill was introduced by Union Minister Ramesh Pokhrel Nishank on Monday. All right, uh, Panchanan Mishra, colleague, is now joining us uh, live from Parliament. Uh, Panchanan, uh, very important uh, business is set uh, for the day for Lok Sabha. It is going to take up discussion uh, and voting on the demands for grants for the Ministry of Railways as well as a very important bill that is the Central Universities Amendment Bill 2019 will be moved for consideration and passing. How does uh, the day uh, is, uh, you know, likely to pan out in the lower house today? Ashwari, as you know that uh, this whole week was dedicated for budget discussion and uh, yesterday uh, Finance Minister Mila Sitaraman uh, gave a reply on this general budget uh, uh, and uh, the continuation, the process is continue as uh, today the, there is a demand for grant, uh, discussion on demand for grant for railways as is a part of, you know, that appropriation bill and also uh, the finance bill. So there will be a se separate voting for that, uh, but today the, the, the uh, discussion will be on railways as we know that th there is no separate budget for railway uh, since the NDA government came. So uh, members will raise the questions uh, regarding uh, 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 the, the railway sector and also uh, will discuss about the uh, scenario of railway in, in, the, in the country. So this is an important topic and also with that uh, uh, there is a bill uh, listed in uh, Lok Sabha that is the Central Universities Amendment Bill. That bill uh, is, is dedicated to establish a central university in Andhra Pradesh because as you know that uh, uh, in the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act uh, when the, there was a bifurcation of uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, uh, central university was due uh, to Andhra Pradesh. So this bill uh, is, is, is paved the path to establish a central university there. So this is all important uh, here in Lok Sabha. All right, Panchanan, stay with us. So we also need to discuss... Uh about the business in Rajya Sabha today. Well, debate on the union budget will continue in the upper house today. The Treasury and opposition benches have agreed to continue the discussion from 11 in the morning and uh, that is uh, with discontinuing the zero and the question R. On Wednesday, approved by the Opposition Congress over political crisis in Karnataka stalled major part of the proceedings in the house for the second straight day the debate, debate on budget began amid din as the Congress MPs trooped into the well of the House during the post-lunch session. 
and a calling attention motion is also listed in today's agenda. The motion is called by members K. Kashan Parveen, Jaya Bachchan and Vijaya Satyanand uh, to address the issues related to malnutrition among women and children with particular reference uh, to Poshan Abhiyan. Let's go across uh, uh, to Panchanan Mishra who is now joining us uh, live from Parliament. Uh, Panchanan speaking about uh, Rajya Sabha, the Treasury and Opposition benches we understand have agreed uh, that they will continue with the discussion on Union Budget uh, and there is a uh, uh, you know, the zero R and question R are going to be discontinued. Uh, how does the day likely uh, in the Rajya Sabha today? Ashwari, uh, two, days, uh, two days were lost due to this uh, 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 continuous disruption on the issue of Karnataka. And uh, 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 yesterday we saw that uh, there were two to three members spoke uh, amid ruckus in the Rajya Sabha. So uh, now the, finally it was decided that uh, uh, today there will be no question R and zero R and only there will be a discussion on the budget uh, and from 11 the budget uh, budget discussion will start but uh, uh, with that uh, there you you know that uh, calling attention on the uh, malnutrition issues uh, among uh, women and children is also listed there and uh, 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 as chairman has also said that uh, uh, apart from regular government business and regular business there should be uh, 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 the discussion on important uh, topic of uh, related to people so this is a calling attention and uh, there will be uh, uh, major questions will be asked regarding the uh, uh, malnutrition and the portion uh, abhyan of the government so uh, we will have it, it, it we, we are now expecting that there will be a fruitful discussion but uh, 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 in the budget discussion we we will uh, see that uh, uh, the many members from the different parties uh, will will speak on that and the uh, peach tamram from congress is expected to speak on it this issue all right uh, panchanan thank you for all those updates there from parliament and uh, here is a look at some of the ministers uh, who will be laying papers on the table concerning their ministries in the rajya sabha today Ravi Shankar Prasad for the Ministry of Law and Justice. Smriti Zubin Irani for the Ministry of Textiles. Dhotre Sanjay Ram Rao for the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and the Ministry of Human Resource Development. V. Murli Dharan for the Ministry of External Affairs. Renuka Singh Saruta for the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. And also Dhotri Sanjay Sham Rao to make a statement regarding the status of implementation of recommendations contained in the 307th report of the Department-related Parliamentary Standing Committee on Human Resource Development on the action taken by the government on the recommendations contained in the 302nd report of uh, demands for grants 2018-19 of the Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Human Resource Development. And here is a look at uh, some of the ministers who will be laying papers on the table concerning their ministries in the Lok Sabha today. Kiran Rijiju for the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and the Ministry of Minority Affairs. Rajkumar Singh for the Ministry of Power and the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Hardeep Singh Puri for the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and the Ministry of Civil Aviation. VK Singh for the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Ratan Lal Kataria for the Ministry of Jal Shakti. Pratap Chandra Sarangi for the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. And Hardeep Singh Puri will also make a statement correcting the reply to start question number 87 given on 27th of June this year regarding disinvestment of Air India. That's it in this edition of Today in Parliament. Do stay tuned. The proceedings of the Upper House are going to commence in a short while from now. Thanks for watching.